Hello, Bo Rohde from MLC CAD Systems. Today we're going to talk about Migration Wizard. Migration Wizard allows you to update your files from the previous version of Mastercam, in this case 2019, to the new Mastercam 2020. So to get started, we're going to go to File, we're going to come down and select Convert, and then we're going to click on our Migration Wizard. Migration Wizard will then pop up its own window, and you'll have two options, Basic and advanced. Basic is used for just that, your basic standalone computer where you just want to take everything from 2019 and move it over to the 2020 format. In advanced you have the option to choose where the files come from and where the files will go. So if you're on a network and you need to have the files coming from somewhere other than off of your C drive where Mastercam puts them, you can make that option. Basic will take a little bit longer because it takes all of the files associated with Mastercam and will move them over to Mastercam 2020 in its new format. Today we're going to focus on Advanced. So we'll click on Advanced and you'll see you have two options. You can check the little box beside the Migrate Shared Mastercam files. And if you notice, you have the option of where the files will come from. So if you're on a network, you would go browse your network and find where you keep your shared MCAM 2019 files and you would select that and then you would do the same for your destination folder. You would want to put them in the same place where your 2019 shared Mastercam 2020 files will go. You also have the option to migrate the My Mastercam files and you would follow the same procedure as what you do with the upper selection here. So we're going to go ahead and say next to this and you'll notice you have the option to pick which files you would like to transfer over from 2019 to 2020. In this case we're going to unselect by clicking the little box beside file types and we're going to choose just the files that we want to do. So we're going to do just the control def, the machine definition, and the post files and our setup sheets. We want all those files to come from 2019 over to Mastercam 2020. So we'll say next to this, and now you notice you have another option. We can also update from 2017, 2018, and 2019 to 2020. We're going to select the box next to versions, so we'll deselect everything, and we're just going to select the Mastercam 2019 files that we need. We'll say next to that, and if you'll notice, in this box it's saying where we're getting the files from, Mastercam 2019, and where they're going to go to, Mastercam 2020. It also shows the file type, control definition, machine definition, post files, and setup sheets that we chose, and the version that we're going to update or migrate. If we were migrating from 2019, uh, 2017, 2018, they would all show up here as well, as well as if we chose other folders in the selection to do. We're going to go ahead and say finish to this, and we'll let the migration wizard run. It will build its files as needed and place them in the destination folder where you selected, be it if you have a network or if you just want to do it on your standalone computer, you can do this as well. You're not limited to just the basic. So sometimes you will get this window to pop up and it's asking you what you want to do. So the current version of the file being updated already exists. Do you want to back up the original file in the destination folder and update? Do you want to update and replace original files in the destination folder? or do not update the file. Well, this is a fresh install of 2020, so I want to go ahead and update and replace any files in the destination folder. I don't want to copy them, I just want to update whatever's there and we'll let Migration Wizard continue. Once it's complete, there'll be a window pop up saying that it has finished. The update process is complete. Do you wish to see the results? You can say yes or you can say no. We're going to say no today because we don't need to see them. And now we want to check and make sure that our machine files have been transferred over. So we can go to our machine, go to mill, and we're going to say manage list. So when we manage list, uh, we're just going to assume that uh, somewhere in here we've got a uh, generic Haas 3-axis mill. So I'm going to click on that and say add. And you see it adds it over here. And now, when I green check to that and I go to my mill tab to select my machines, I now have the generic Haas 3-axis mill 
in millimeters as well as in the inches. So you can continue to do this with your lathe. It was done the same way. You can say manage list and you can go down and select uh, your lathes that you need to add and or you can remove the ones you don't need anymore if you don't need them. Say green check to that and now if you go back to your lathe you just have your one lathe that you have. I hope this video was helpful. Have a nice day. Thanks.